So the first thing we need to do with WordPress is to install the working theme that we're going to be using. So you can use any theme you like, but um, just for ease, the best one we found is Divi theme. It's D-I-V-I -I theme. Just before this video, there was a link to uh, Divi theme so that you could go and purchase that. It's one time and then you can use it multiple times. So you just go to Appearance, Themes, so once you've downloaded it. Activate. Once you've done that, delete these old themes because otherwise they're just going to slow your site down. And the next thing you're going to want to do is add what we call a child theme. So just pick Divi Child from a company called Monterey. It's free and it's basic, but it allows us to, to do what we need to do. This step is really important because um, if you do not install child theme, then when you update, when there's a software update for Divi, it will remove any changes that have been made um, in the CSS programming behind the scenes. So make sure you install and activate the child theme. The one that's active will show here. So this is active. Divi is just behind it. Next, you're going to want to go to the plugin section, add new plugin. And we're going to go and upload the Divi Builder. And while we're in this place here in the plugins, let's just delete that one. And the next plugin you're going to want to install um, is the updater for elegant themes. Okay, so go to settings. And here you want to put in your username from Elegant Themes and the API key. And we had the update warning when we just saw that update on the plugin. And the next most important thing is actually to get a backup uh, system in place. You can either search through the plugins for backup solutions and choose one that you like. Um, we always use Updraft Plus just because it seems to be the most robust. Okay, there it is.
I think it comes at a cost, but um, it's not very much, but it's worth having. And you're going to also need to add a few other things as well. Um, you're going to need to add an SEO plugin. You can use any you like, so just go into plugins and search by SEO or whatever. But we always use Yoast because it seems to be the best. And definitely you need a security plugin. You can choose WordFence if you like, or well, Bulletproof is pretty good. We use this one usually, seems to be pretty easy to configure. And that's the main plugins you need. And now you've got to this point, the best thing to do is go and take a backup right away for two reasons. One, you can use this backup in future so you don't have to go through this whole process of um, setting up all the plugins. You can take this and just put it onto another domain. I can show you that later. But for now, before we do anything else, just take a backup, complete backup of the site. Okay, so then now that's done. Just to stop your site getting hacked as you're building, go to WP Security Brute Force. If you have another security program, it'll be somewhere else. Um, or you need to look for a plugin that would say um, login page uh, URL so that you can change it. And then just put anything after here something completely random. Now once you've done that, you'll see that the the login page has changed. Okay, so this is the URL you will use to actually access your WordPress site. So, and that's incredibly important, you don't lose that because you won't be able to get into the site without it. And then you just follow the instructions through for each of these settings, and this strength meter will tell you how secure your site is. Um, it's a good idea to do some and then back up just to make sure um, if there's a problem, at least you can then uh, go back to a previous backup. Um, or you can just turn this uh, plug on, plugin off if there's a problem. But just go through those steps to get that um, set up and ready so that your site is secure um, so it can't be hacked as you're building it.